Hello and welcome YouTubers. So, as you can see on the farmstead today, we got another, uh, well, let's take a look at the truck. Probably about six, eight inches of snow. So, today, I'm working on the power, getting her hooked up. So, one of the problems that, um, not problems, but one of the uh, things that needed to happen is that inside there you can sort of see I've already started on the work a little bit. Um, we've got an electrician uh, working on things, but uh, I'll take you inside. So, say hi to my two friends, Reggie, Tika, and here we are. So this is the electrical room. Power's going to come in from the two masts outside. You can sort of see them through the poly there. And then it comes in and comes into this uh, big service disconnect and then uh, <clears throat> into the rest of the system. And then uh, this one here goes out and feeds the other two greenhouses. And um, coming from here on the bottom, you'll see eventually there'll be a wire connected to uh, the panel on the other side of the wall. And that'll be for eventually uh, power in this place and running pumps and so on and so forth. So. This wall used to be connected over there, but uh, I guess code is that we got to give a meter clearance. So that's what we're doing. We're giving the electrician and anybody that's in this wonderful little room enough room to work safely. So where before they they only had maybe uh, uh, you know 18 inches or something like that. Now they've got probably almost four feet uh, because I've moved the wall out uh, about 36 inches so they got a little bit more than four feet um, so yeah that's that's what I'm working on today um, so initially before they um, had um, this this um, which was clear at one point um, covering or corrugated or whatever you want to call it uh, uh, plastic on top to provide a roof in here to, to keep the condensation off of all the electrical stuff but now that I've moved this wall out I've got to still have a roof over top and I, I don't really feel like putting lights in here so I'm going to use the same thing um, but now these these uh, pieces of EMT that we're providing that support they're too short so that's part of what I'm going to do I'm going to Probably put some couplers on there, get another piece of EMT, sort of bend it a little bit and extend it to the end wall and make that connection there. And that's sort of the plan there. We'll finish framing this in and I need to put some um, uh, hilti nails or whatever in the floor there to provide some support there. And that's sort of the plan. And uh, my hope is honestly to get some juice into this thing so that uh, we can get the irrigation going so that we can start growing something to help um, this has uh, obviously two um, ducts in there from the blower outside and it helps inflate the, the two layers of plastic sorry for the crappy cameramanship and um, helps provide extra insulation so hopefully in the next few weeks maybe even uh, by the end of the month for sure uh, this is early February 2017, I'm shooting this. We'll be able to have power and we'll have enough heat, enough residual warmth in there that the plants will survive. And uh, as you can see, we've got some snow on the roof. Obviously, we, I mentioned that outside. And um, But I think definitely for salad mixes and so on and so forth, perfect little climate for it still it's quite a bit warmer inside so here we are again sort of uh, that's sort of my plan today and I uh, just thought I'd share that with you and maybe I'll take a couple of an, another quick video when I've got it all done and we've got it hooked up and we can show you uh, how that all looks um, thanks again for watching please like comment and subscribe enjoy your Saturday cheers